prove that a squared plus b squared plus c squared is a perfect square, where the side lengths ABC of a triangle are integers, the length of one altitude equals the sum of the lengths of the other two altitudes. Let HA, HB, HC be the three altitudes of the triangle. The area of the triangle equals a half A times HA equals a half B times HB equals a half C times HC. We have two equations, HB equals A over B times HA, HC equals A over C times HA. Without loss of generality, assume HA equals HB plus HC. Equation one plus equation two, we have HB plus HC equals A over B times HA plus A over C times HA. Substitute equation three in equation four, we have HA equals a over B times HA plus A over C times HA. Since HA doesn't equal zero, so HA on both sides of the equation cancel. So one equals A over B plus A over C which can be written as one equals AC plus AB over BC. By finding a common denominator for the two terms, A over B, A over C. Now rearrange the equation. We have AC plus AB equals BC. By squaring and expanding both sides of the equation, we have a squared C squared plus 2A squared BC plus A squared B squared equals B squared C squared. Now we add A to the power of 4 on both sides of the equation. The reason for this is we already have a squared c squared and a squared b squared. If we add a to the power of 4, we can now create a squared plus b squared plus c squared. a squared c squared plus a squared b squared plus a to the power of 4 equals b squared c squared plus a to the power of 4 minus 2a squared bc. There's a common factor, a squared on the left hand side, so we can now write a squared times c squared plus b squared plus a squared. The right hand side can be written as a perfect square. So we now have a squared minus bc or squared. By rearranging the equation, we have a squared plus B squared plus C 
c squared equals a squared minus bc all squared over a squared, which can also be written as a squared minus bc over a all squared, plus a squared plus b squared plus c squared is a perfect square. The proof is now complete. The condition the side lengths a, b, c of a triangle are integers seems not necessary. What do you think? Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel for notification of new videos. See you next time.